What is up, guys? Today we're going to be customizing the mailbox. So, oh, special delivery. Now, I've already sanded this, and I just bought a plain black mailbox because all you got to do is sand it and, and clean it because sanding is dirty work. Black is my first color. I'm going to put my stencil on and just do some wiggly lines. I don't know. It'll look cooler than it sounds. So uh, let's go. Put some silver right here. Yeah, I know the cat's gold. It's the wrong color. So what? Oh, that's like magic. Beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna show you a special effect trick with a scotch Bright pad and silver. You take it and you just pull straight lines and it gives it that brushed aluminum effect. It's really cool. That took a few hours, but it looks amazing. But it's a little too bling blingy rainbow for me. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dust it with a little bit of the same color spray paint silver, just to knock the rainbowy back just a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. You see it has a barely shift when you walk by, but sometimes it's kind of ghosted looking. That's what I was looking for. Real subtle, nothing crazy. <laughs>
so what the crap so i had a little reaction here that piece of crap silver paint i used off the shelf it must have been just so old but it reacted with my clear coat which is a bummer so this is the opposite of a promotion this is a demotion does that look like a miracle to you no so we're gonna do this again because i don't halfway do stuff like that i do it the right way and i fix it they can't put mail in a mailbox that looks this crappy you know look this stuff's peeling off like a sunburn check this out it's kind of satisfying i'm not gonna lie so we had a reaction no big deal you just do it again you did it once you can do it all over again right listen 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 stuff like this happens it's gonna happen be honest. If you're an artist and you're creating, stuff is going to go wrong. Don't worry about it. Don't get your panties in a wad. You did it once. Learn something from it. Do it again. No big deal. That's what it's all about. It's not the situation. That's the problem. It's how we react to the situations. That's what we have control over. That's what makes the difference. That's what makes good artists and people in life in general from bad artist and people it's how we react to things i'm not going to go through the trouble of putting all these stickers back on i'm going to do something else and one reason why i want to show you guys this is because if i put a product in the description for my amazon affiliate look at crap all over my fingers amazon affiliate then you know that i stand by it. i don't just put stuff down there that trying to sell you guys something i put stuff in there that i believe hey guess what won't be in there this guy Ooh. yeah now all right guys i got this side sanded back all the way off i'm just gonna spray it back black but i wanted to stop and show you guys while i was taking this off why we prep stuff by sanding it and getting it ready. Watch this. I'm using this right here. Orbital sander. We prep and do things the right way. We can't control some things like that silver reacting with the clear. Who knew? Oh my gosh. Look at my hand. Uh, uh, I'll watch that later. Why we sand it for durability. Check this out. It's so hard to get off, but that's why it's taking me so long. So I would have had this video out already, like, but you know, hey, look, look at me. Look around if I turn around here. Look here. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing so I can um, not breathe in this dust, and it's really loud. So I always wear your protection, and then wear something on your eyes too. This stuff might flick off everywhere. I feel like I'm choking. Anyway, back to it. Let's go. All righty. So this looks familiar. We're back to square one. I mean, you can still see a few lines in there, whatever. It's fine. And I got a new tool that I want to show you. It's really amazing. So let's just get this going and lay our tape lines. Ready? Now we're going to do the burgundy. Now to cover this up. All right, so we've been here before. If you remember last time, which was like three or four, five minutes ago, I don't know how long this video is, but I stuck all them little do -do 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 rainbow stickers on it. But this time, I got this off of Amazon. Really love this because of how flexible it is. Watch this, point and shoot. I mean, you could use a spray can, you just have to kind of hold it way back, but I'm gonna use my airbrush. And then not only that, so I haven't figured out which way I'm going to do that yet, but if you just keep watching for a second, you'll see in about 30 seconds. 